Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my weird little corner in the room that has good lighting. Welcome back to Lucas. Yes, I am filming two videos back to back. No, I'm not changing. No, I'm not redoing my makeup. No, I'm not even fucking moving. That's where I'm at. So, here I am. Gonna race against the clock for the sun setting. So hopefully the lighting doesn't change too much in this video. But... Continuing on with the declutter series, I am going to be decluttering my cheek products. So all of my bronzers, blushes, and highlights, and this is going to be all powder products. I do have a ton of powder, or... What are you doing, Goob? Yeah, get that string. Um, I do have a ton of cream bronzers, blushes, and highlights, but those are all very, very new to me, so I'm not going to be getting rid of any of those. So today is just focused on the powder products. This is the Tarte Pro Glow To Go palette. I originally got this to replace my Tarte Don't Be Afraid To Dazzle contour palette, thinking that this would work. This is a little bit warmer tone and it's definitely more pigmented than that palette, but I've only used this a couple times. I do think that this is actually really, really good. I love how small and compact this is. Especially, honestly, I love how tiny this contour is because you don't... My guy. You don't really use that much contour when you're contouring, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. I want you to know that I have not cleaned up the foundations and primers and concealers that I tossed on the floor that I was keeping yet. So if you have already heard glass clinging together as I'm kind of tossing things in front of me, that is why. I will go ahead and link up in the eye and down below my declutter that I just filmed. But since this is already in my hand, this is the, I already told you, it's the Tarte Contour Duo. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. It's been discontinued. It doesn't exist anymore. This is very, very hard panned at this point. It has very little payoff to it. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and toss this. Dude. This is the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffles Highlight and Bronzer Palette. This is very, very new to me. Very, very pretty. The highlights in this are gorgeous. Um, bronzers are really, really good too. Definitely keeping this. This is the Essence Contour Duo. Um, another thing that I got in replacement of that Tarte Contour Palette. Jury's still out on this. It is very, very, very pigmented, so you have to be very, very careful when you first apply it. Um, you have to use a very, very light hand. It's alright. I probably wouldn't... It's definitely not the best that I've ever used. These are the e.l.f. Primer infused bronzers, absolutely love those, definitely not keeping, not getting rid of those, definitely not getting rid of those, excuse you. Um, L Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, great bronzer, great smell, definitely keeping that. These are very, very new to me, these are the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powders. These are the shades Sunkissed and then Sunlight, they are very, very, very similar to me. Um, but these are kind of a lot like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. They aren't super, super pigmented. Why are you eating my basket? Wild animals. But definitely keeping those because they're very new to me. These are the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded. Um, they're honestly baked bronzers that are very, very, very luminous. They're very shiny, a little bit glittery. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and get rid of these. I... I don't use them very often. I was using them as like bronzer toppers, but I just, they're not really something that I need to keep. Last bronzer, I don't have a lot of bronzers, is the Revolution Pro. This is the hardest thing to get on camera. This is the Revolution Pro Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. This is in light. This is, this is very, very deep for being light. So if you're more fair than I am, that is definitely something to keep in mind. Um, this is a very, very pigmented bronzer as well. I am going to keep, I'm going to keep it because I'm still trying it out, but it is very hard to go heavy handed with this and it's very hard to backtrack once you've gone too far. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're deeper than me. I think that the shades that are in this line are phenomenal. 
personally, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone who's fairer than I am. But it's a really good bronzer. It's just a little bit finicky to work with. Okay, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I honestly only use Lyra, Helia, and Eclipse, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to keep this because I love those shades. Once I finish off those shades, I will be getting rid of this because I don't use the other shades. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes. This is the Pixie Beauty and Rach Loves Layers palette. Definitely not getting rid of this ever. Um, I adore this palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. Honestly, I'm going to get rid of this palette. I only ever really used the pink shade. And if I'm going to use colorful highlights, I tend to lean towards ones that reflect pink. Um, and I prefer the almost, let me show you, how in the Aurora palette they have like a a color to them they're not white reflect pink um, I prefer that on my skin tone to the white reflect pink of the Moonchild palette honestly it's just not a palette that I reach for anymore nobody really wears colored highlights anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that on the same vein but I am actually going to be keeping this this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dream glow kit um, this formula is very different and you can kind of tell that in how it's covered the pan um, but these are they're colorful but they don't have the white base to them and I prefer that when I wear my colorful highlights also all of these are some shade of pink or flash gold I prefer that in my highlights I do really like these this formula is not for everyone and I know that there are a lot of people out there that do not like the formula of this this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit. Um, I love this glow kit. I think that it's very, very, very pretty. Um, I'm very glad that there is a white reflect gold, specifically because I love layering that white reflect gold with the Nicole Glow Kit shade Dream. I think that it gives the prettiest kind of candlelit glow. So, definitely going to be keeping that. Also, definitely keeping the Nicole palette. I have my old one that is beat up and almost completely empty. I'm working to finish this one off, but I have the other one open because I, I need a daydream. So, Alright, now we are getting into the fun part. This is the stuff that um, I definitely will be going through and getting rid of. You know I'm going to say this and I'm going to keep like the first five things that I pick up. Shit. This is the Pixie Beauty Delicate Dew Glowy Glossomer Duo. Um, this is a very, very, very pretty highlight. I have used this highlight to death, but it's very, very, very pretty. Um, yeah, I think that the formula on this is gorgeous. Pixie does such a phenomenal job with highlights. Definitely going to be keeping that. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palettes. This is in the shade Bloom Time and this is Blossom Glow. Bloom Time is kind of like a pinky reflect, reflect gold. This one's very, very, very pretty. It's very unique. I don't have any other highlights that look like that. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. This one is more of like the icy pink shade. I'm going to be getting rid of this one because I do have quite a few icy pink highlights. Let's get these out of the way. These are two of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlights. These are the old ones that have been discontinued. This was from a Halloween collection and this is from the Zodiac collection. But the loose highlights that they have now are very, very similar to this. I think, honestly, they're probably the same thing, just repackaged, not in limited edition packaging. But, like, I can't get rid of the school packaging. This is so cute. But this is your Icy Pink. This is kind of like your Icy Champagne. I love these as highlight toppers when I really want like a big punch with my highlight so I'm definitely definitely going to be keeping these okay these are interesting um these are the makeup revolution loose highlights this is in ruby crush and then this is in rose quartz honestly I got these highlights when I was on a hunt to replace the daydream shade from the Nicole glow kit and before it you know came back and let me get a little bit out 
These are, they were limited, limited edition. They don't exist anymore. Okay, so that is, which one is it? Rose, this one's Rose Quartz, and then this one is Ruby Crush. It's definitely very, very pinky. You can see it, like, from the side. They're very shiny. Um, I don't need them. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. These are the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlights. This is Molten Pearl. We have Molten Rose Gold. And then this one is Molten Peach. I love all of these. All of them have broken. They, like, the tops just sit on them. The, like, hinges and everything have shattered off of them. But I love all of these. I am going to be keeping these. These are the e.l.f. Retro... What were they even from? They're from their really, really new collection. It's like the Retro something collection. Retro Paradise. They're from the Retro Paradise collection. They're very interesting. They're like a, like you can put your finger into them. They're almost like a putty. They're very, very, very glittery. They're definitely more of like a highlight topper than a highlight themselves. But this one is kind of like an icier pink shade. This is one that is white that reflects gold but it doesn't leave that white cast behind it but these are still very new to me so i am going to be keeping those this is actually the highlight that i am wearing on my cheeks today this is the makeup revolution highlight reloaded and this is in the shade dare to divulge this is as you can see a very 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 pretty highlight definitely going to be keeping this one i fucking said i was getting rid of a good chunk of this didn't i but don't you worry there's still more in here Okay, let's just knock these out of the way because I am actually going to be getting rid of these. These are the Becca Pressed Highlights. This is Prosecco Pop. And then over here I have Opal and Moonstone. They're very pretty. I just prefer a different type of formula. These are very subtle. They're a little bit powdery on the face. I, It's just not the formula that I prefer. So I am going to be getting rid of those. They're also just like your basic champagnes and golds. So it's nothing that I don't have in other formulas that I prefer more. This is the Ofra Highlight in Rodeo Drive. This is a classic. Um, your very standard champagne gold highlight. Basic everyday like staple highlight if you will. Okay, these two highlights are um, other highlights that I got when I was, again, hunting for a replacement for Daydream from the Nicole Glow Kit. This is the NYX Duochromatic Highlighter, and this is in Synthetica. And then this is the Bare Mineral Highlighter in the shade Joy. So on their own for me, these were always a little bit darker, but they had the right undertones. So watching them now, um, this is significantly more red-orange, whereas this one does come off a light, lighter, peachier kind of shade. I am going to get rid of this one. I am going to keep this one for now because I do really like it. Honestly, I wear this more now as a blush topper than anything else. This is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights blush in the shade So Retrograde. This is an absolutely stunning blush. This is very, 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 very pigmented. So you have to use the lightest hand with this, but it's very pretty. Still very new to me, so definitely keeping that. These are the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blushes. This is an Always Rosy. This is Always Cheeky. I love these blushes. I Just as much as I love the bronzers, I will never be getting rid of those. They are great staple matte blushes. This is the Becca Blush, Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Songbird. As you can tell, I love like those orangey, very warm blushes. This is a very, very pretty blush. It is, again, also very pigmented, so you do have to be very, very careful with it, but it's a very pretty blush. I'm definitely going to be keeping that. It's also perfect for travel because it's, you know, smaller than my hand. She could just come in here and then she wouldn't have to scream. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. This is in the shade Fantastical. I don't actually think that this exists anymore. Um, as you can see, it is broken. This is also, I have so many highlights, or rather blushes. I have so many blushes that are in this color or similar color that are in much thinner packaging that also aren't broken. So I am going to be passing that along. This is the Flower, Flower 
Flower Pots Blush, and this is in the shade Peach Primrose. This is like my go-to everyday staple blush. I do absolutely adore that blush. A great, again, you know, just like your staple matte blush. This is Toasted Cinnamon by Burt's Bees. Kathleen Lights was the one that turned me on to this. Again, another great, just warm, rich, comfy bron uh, blush. This is great. I actually love this too as kind of more like a, I can take it all the way back and kind of use it as both a bronzer and a blush and kind of do like a draping situation. So that's fun. These are the Milani Baked Blushes. This is in Bella Bellini, which is like a pink, really strongly shift gold. This is Luminoso, which is a classic. This is Rose de Oro. My thing with these is that they are very, very, very shiny. They don't have a lot of pigment to them. They're just a lot of sheen. So it's, you know, I tend to wear them more as blush toppers, but they're almost too sheer to do much of anything. So I am going to, I'm definitely going to get rid of Rose de Oro. Let me, I'm not getting rid of Luminoso. I'm definitely keeping Luminoso. My hand's also covered in highlights, so bear with that. But this is Bella Bellini. I'm going to keep that one for now. That one's really pretty. This is the Pretty Vulgar Blush in Hush Blush. Holding it up next to the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one because it's very, very, very similar. This is the Milani Flower, Ro excuse me, Rose Powder Blush, and this is in the shade Wild Rose. This is very new to me, but it's kind of like that warm, peachy rose. So I'm keeping that one. This is the BH Cosmetics Bellini Blush Palette. This is very, very new to me, so I'm definitely not getting rid of it. I'm definitely not getting rid of it, but I want to compare a couple blushes that I have in here to this because I think that this could kind of be the end all be all for a lot of the blushes that I have. So let me. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. These are really, really good blushes. They're only a couple dollars, so they're great blushes. However, I am going to be getting rid of them because I have all three of these colors. This is Pearlescent Pink, this is Keep It Peachy, and then this is Mellow Wine. I have all of these shades in other blushes that I'm already keeping, so there's no point in me keeping these as well. These I already know that I'm getting rid of. These are the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palettes. This is Hot Spice and then this is Sugar and Spice. And I had actually recently pulled these out of my donate bin and I was kind of like, ooh, maybe I should keep them. But, you know, I just, the more I pulled them out and honestly I used them like once. So... I am, I'm just going to get rid of them. I think between the blushes that I have, I have everything in here covered, so I don't need to keep that. This is the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. This is discontinued. It does not exist anymore, but this is what it looks like. It came, I think I got it in like a boxy charm several years ago, but it has a blush, which is a very, very, very luminous blush, a highlight, and then what they claim to be a bronzer, but honestly, that's a fucking metallic shadow. Um, which is pretty much all that I've ever used it for is a metallic shadow. But I love this as a blush topper and this highlight is absolutely gorgeous. I am going to keep this probably honestly what once I get rid of these two I will go ahead and toss it because I, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. This is the I Heart Revolution Peach and Glow palette and it looks like this. This was another you know, again, something that I picked up when I was looking for a replacement for Daydream. But this is what the highlight looks like, and this is what the blush looks like. It's very, very pretty. I just... I don't need it. I already have that kind of pinky peachy blush, and I have several backups of Daydream now, so I don't need it. Somebody else can have it and love it. 
Last, but certainly not least, the BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease Blush and Highlight Palette. This is absolutely stunning. I obviously can't use this highlight on my skin tone, but it is a very, very, very pretty highlight. I usually just use it as an eyeshadow, but all of the other shades in here are gorgeous. This is a very dark blush. I tend to just focus it more back here. If I do use it, I use a very, very light hand with it, but I can make it work. Um, but this palette is gorgeous. Definitely going to be keeping that. You know, I still didn't really get rid of that much, but I got rid of more than I got, in, got rid of in the last video. So that's progress, right? With that being said, that is going to wrap up everything for me today. Like I said, I will have my last declutter video linked down below. I will also link my lip declutter video that I did a couple... I posted a little bit a little while ago I will leave that linked down below as well comment down below and tell me what your favorite bronzer blush and highlight is tell me so I can buy more and be mad at myself when I am back to not having space in my vanity again so yeah comment down below tell me what your favorite cheek products are like this video please subscribe if you haven't already it would mean the world to me ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!